Welcome back. This lesson will be about inverted pedal notes. You might recall that a while back I posted a video about pedal notes, and a pedal note is simply a bass note you hold in your left hand, a constant, while the harmony in your right hand changes. For example, let's look at the progression C to G to F back to C. And a pedal note would be, say, holding the C bass constant while the chords change in the right hand. So, C, G, F, C. And you're welcome to go back and check that video. But this video is about a related concept of inverted pedal notes. The idea here is that you don't have to, uh, you can apply the same concept of holding a note constant while changing uh, harmonies, not only to the bass note in your left hand, but to other notes, even in your right hand. And to illustrate this, let's take the same progression of C to G to F to C and keep the topmost note constant, so it will be the G. And here, I'll be playing the C, then a G. This is the, um, the first inversion of the G. And note that the topmost note is kept constant. Then an F. And what I'm doing here is really playing an F. This is the first inversion, but adding a G. and then back to C. This can be combined with or without a pedal note in the left hand. Uh, let me play it without one. So the concept of uh, inverted pedal notes can be applied to many situations even if the pedal note doesn't exactly fit into the chord that you're playing, sometimes it sounds good for the same reason a, for the same reason a pedal note in the left hand sounds good, even though the bass might not correspond uh, to the chord you're playing. Uh, your ear tends to treat it as a passing tone, so it tends to accept it. So uh, just uh, as say, the C note would not uh, fit into the G chord. So C, G, and note that the C bass uh, is not part of the G chord. F, C. In the same way, the topmost note, the G, is not part of the F chord. C and G, and then F. This note is not part of the F chord, but it still sounds good. Let me give you a second example of an inverted pedal note. And in this case, I'm going to use C as my pedal note on the C major scale. I'm going to actually play a series of ascending chords. That's a C, DM7, That's an EM7, but with a top C pedal note, which is not really part of the EM7 chord. F, G, once again, the C is not part of the G chord. A minor seven, again, a G, but this time on a base of B and back to C. So played uh, the right tempo, this would be
That's it. I hope you learned something interesting, and I'll see you next time.